Good afternoon and welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. So we got here at 6 o'clock and park closes at 8. They let us pull right through for the parking at the booth. We parked in preferred parking. Yeah. So we show up two hours before park closes and there's nobody at the booth to pay for parking, which you don't anyway as an annual pass holder. But also, you get to drive all the way to the front. Do you notice anything about me and Mom that's different? <laughs> it is like mass exodus right now. Everybody's leaving. There's a couple people coming in with us. Here at Animal Kingdom, things like Rafiki's Planet Watch, like that train ends, the last train's at 4.30. So, you know, certain sections of the park are actually closed down early. A lot of people believe that the animals don't come out much at the safari towards the evening, which is true because hottest point of the day down here in Florida. So a lot of people only spend half days here. So if you're looking at the tree over here on the right hand side is Simba, Simone, and Pumbaa's 50th Golden Statues. Over on the left side, can't see because the sun glare, is Bambi. Walking by, it's tough to be a bug. It says this 10 minutes. It's always 10 minutes. It's always a walk on. Tell you what, the flame tree barbecue is smelling really good right now. Trilo Bites is open. We've walked by here many times and they have not been open. They have a buffalo chicken chip. Can you guys see that? Ooh, 50 celebration golden margarita. Heading into Dinorama. It's 625. Park closes at 8. So you can see how much of a walk on this ride is now. What's cool is as you're standing in line, you get your own numbers. So you don't have to worry about somebody taking your uh, cart. So we were 14, so we're number 14. Let's go. Alright, we're at the top. Should I bounce? <laughs> Do it again. Oh, yeah, it does. It does it. It's too much of a delay. It does it too. Then make sure you have all your belongings and walk to the exit gate. Hopefully here soon, Finding Nemo opens back up. We've been reading that uh, it's supposed to here soon. Look how awesome Everest looks in the background. Walking through this area over here by uh, Everest. It's always been one of my favorite areas. It's really cool. Love all the little flags hanging up. Let's see how long the line is. The time's down right now. It doesn't say anything, but not really a line. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but there is no line over there. People are walking on. 6.30, park closes at 8. You can walk on Everest. Right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Looks like the girls are going to get the soft serve waffle cone and the Yeti sundae. No, I don't think Mom's getting the Yeti sundae. Oh, she's not getting it? No. Oh, I stand corrected. Animal Kingdom squirrel. Yeah, Maddie didn't get cone. Apparently she doesn't get cones anymore. I didn't think they'd be out this late, but they are. One's right there and one's right there. They're, one, they're hiding in each one of those pedestals. This is the Yak and Yeti. Another place we've never ate at before. Let's look at their menu. Yeah, very hard to get a reservation. Ooh, walk. Kobe beef burger, barbecue ribs, soy herb glazed ribeye, yum. Man, look at that salmon. Everything looks delicious. Ooh, steamed rice, chicken fried rice, bok choy. It's not a real Maddie we get. Who cares about Maddie? Can you get us a reservation tonight? Maybe teriyaki chicken. Mm, chicken lo mein. Any luck? Nothing. Nothing. Let's keep going. Where are we going? To the safari? Safari. Manny wants us to get our picture here real fast. But I just want to show you guys. Look! There's nobody! How cool! Like I said earlier in the video, things do shut down here. 
early, no show times available for the Feathered Friends in Flight. I want to say they stopped around 3 or 4. Maybe 3.30 is the last show. But things do tend to shut down here. Earlier than the park closing, anyway. Mr. Kamal's is still open. Caravan Road is not. Welcome by the side of the tree. This is an awesome picture opportunity right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but almost everything is either closed or 10 to 15 minute wait. Safari 15, everything else is closed. Expedition Everest, 10 minutes. So we still have about an hour to go, but the limited amount of things to do here, if you came in here around, let's say five o'clock, you'd be able to knock this entire park out, probably ride all the rides, see the, all the attractions in three hours. Definitely three hours. Heck, you might be able to do it in two hours. Even the Harambe market's closed. No food for you. Right up here is Rafiki's Planet Watch. Also the animation experience, which means everything's closed. Zuri Suites is still open though. Man, usually you can't get a seat here. It's empty. It's weird looking. You normally can't even get a seat. <laughs> Look at the streets. It's so weird. All right, says it's 15 minutes. So it wasn't even 15 minutes. It is an actual true walk-on. But a thing to note, at the front it did say that safaris close at 7.30. Park closes at 8. Safari shuts down a half hour prior. There's an copy on the right hand side of the oh, We're starting already, Zeus. The bongos in the other truck here on both sides of the truck. The bongos are a copper Look. red antelope with yeah. white stripes, really thick horns. Wow, we're seeing animals right away. Yeah, see the, here too. the horns lean oh, backwards on the head, makes it a little bit easier for them to work their way through the underbrush. So they do just hang out in the bushes. <laughs> we very rarely ever see a rhino. <laughs> Black rhinos are exceedingly rare. There's only about 5,000 of these left on the planet. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have been heavily poached for their horns. They get about 80, 90. Actually, see a hippo. Ooh, I've never seen a hippo. Wow. Yeah, when they are in the water, they can fully submerge for about eight minutes at a time. And they really are just a nocturnal animal, so you don't really see a lot of activity during the daylight hours. Wow. Most of them are in the water there, actually. So we'll get on the bridge right above them. Get a nice bird's eye view. Now, most of these herd animals have a leader. There's an alpha that's in charge, but not with the wildebeest trees here. Looks a little bit further along. Hello. Yeah, they are the tallest animals. Giraffes stand about 16 to 20 feet in height for the adults. So the horns are impressive on the end, Coley. They're not heavy, though. It's not a solid horn like most animals. It's actually a honeycomb inside that. Yeah, they are just hanging out by the trail right now. I'm also going to see an elephant in the distance here on the left-hand side. Hey, how you doing? Don't mind us. Uh, these are greater flamingos on the island. Uh, they are the lightest colored in. Most of the young ones are being sat on right now, but it uh, looks like somebody got out of their nest or actually stepped up and let the little one have a little, little breathing space there. So, <laughs> so yeah, that little flamingo hatched like in the last 48 hours here, okay? <laughs> so, there's a couple more walking around toward the back there as well. Oh, yeah. He's right up there on the top of the house. There we go. The lions are inactive most of the day, but as the sun goes down, they start moving around a bit. They really are designed to hunt at night. Their eyesight's the same as ours during the day, but at night it is uh, about six times more powerful. These guys don't really chase down their prey. They're more ambush hunters. They sneak up on the prey and leap out at it. All right, let's get a little bit closer to this lioness. I hope we can get right out in front of her. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Hi, Now, if you look at her eyes, you're going to notice it's a lighter eyeliner color. There's a lighter fur line that's kind of a silver gray color. That's designed to bring in the moonlight so they can see better at night. 
And as the sun goes down, they will start to vocalize. They often vocalize together, and it carries across the savanna. So that was one of the best safaris we've done. That was awesome. And it happens to be, I mean, they're closing now. It's 7.30. That was awesome. Yeah. So. out of the water, never seen a hippo out of the water. Never seen a hippo out of the water, never seen the, what was it? flamingo. Yeah. Stand yeah, corrected. The lion was standing up and walking around. Oh yeah, around. walking around. Yep. That was awesome. This is really weird looking right now. It's like not a soul. It's just so weird walking by here by the Tusker house and they're just being 10 people? Tops? Not even? More than 10 people. Tamu Tamu is closed. Welcome by the Festival of Lion King. Looks like the last show is at 5 o'clock. They have one from 10 o'clock till 5, once on the hour. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Squirrel. He's going to walk this whole bridge with us. Yep. Just don't attack me. Ah. Don't attack me. <laughs> Just like that, we're in Pandora. Can you hear it? The Valley of Ma'ara. Here's the floating islands. How impressive these floating islands are. Mom said you make it wet. Okay. You make it wet. Oh, that is creatures. I'm scared. <laughs> I read it and I was like, oh, and I looked at it and I was like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> no, I looked at the clown and I was like, that's so beautiful. And then I read it and I looked at it. And yeah. Like, like, you can just sit here and look at this. You don't even have to do any rides or attractions. Just, man, like, the amount of detail, it's unreal. We have 18 minutes till park close. Seriously? Yeah. But as long as we're in the line at 8 o'clock, we're okay to ride the ride. Here's always a fun part. All the kids are playing on the drums. Got the waterfalls in the background. So pretty. Alright, we're riding the Nave River Journey. That's an awesome picture. Standby line says 55, but I don't see a line over here, so we might be okay. Yeah, typically there's a line all throughout here. So we'll see once we get to that little inside section underneath the canopy, but I don't believe it's 55 minutes. This little bridge. There you go, the inside arm of the canopy is only about half full. Thinking it's only maybe a 20 minute wait. There you go. It said 55 minutes, we walked on in 14 minutes.
no more people. It is after 8 o'clock. It's actually 8.06. And they're done? Yeah. They're probably happy. That ride's really ride. pretty, isn't it? Yes. We haven't rode that in, I don't it's think been a we while. were here in December. I've rode it by myself, but... I think this is the first time since we've lived here, all three of us have been in Pandora. All right, guys and gals and friends alike. I think that's going to do it for today's vlog. Hope you guys had a good day.